The ocean, one of the most beautiful places on earth. An underwater world holding home to some of the most fascinating creatures of our world. One of those creatures is the starfish. The starfish, otherwise known as sea stars, have around 2,000 different species that occur in all the world's oceans. Starfish are classified as invertebrates in the echinoderm family, along with sea urchins and sand dollars, where they live in the intertidal zone. All echinoderms have a body that is radically symmetric based on five sections that radiate out from a central point. Although most species of sea stars have only five arms, there are those that had even 10, 20, and even 40. Starfish have bony calcified skin which protects them from most predators. Many wear striking colors that camouflage them or scare off potential attackers, and they can live up to 35 years old. Sea stars have a very unique body. They have no brain and no blood. In their arms, they hold most of their vital organs, as well as their nervous system, and their blood is actually filtered water. As echinoderms, starfish possesses a hydraulic water vascular system that aids in locomotion. Water moving through tubes controls the movement of their tube feet. Although the tube feet resembles a suction cup, gripping action is a function of adhesive chemicals rather than suction. The tube feet latch onto surfaces and move in a wave with one body section attaching to the surface as another releases. Respiration also occurs the tube feet, as well as the tiny structures called papillae that dot the body surface. The mouth of a starfish is located on the underside of the body and opens through a short esophagus into a cardiac stomach and then a second pyloric stomach. Each arm contains two long hollow tubes which branch outwards from the pyloric stomach. Each tube is lined by a series of digestive glands which absorb nutrients from the food. A short intestine runs from the upper surface of the pyloric stomach to open at an anus in the center of the upper body. In many species, the cardiac stomach can be averted out of the organism's body to engulf and digest food. In these species, the cardiac stomach fetches the prey then passes it to the pyloric stomach, which always remains internal. Because of this ability to digest food outside of its body, the sea star is able to hunt prey that are much larger than its mouth would otherwise allow. Starfish eat mollusks such as clams, oysters, some snails, or any other animal too slow to evade the attack. Some species are detrivores, eating decomposed animal and plant material. Others may consume coral polyps, sponges, or even suspended particles in plankton. Male and female sea stars are usually not distinguishable from the outside. One needs to be lucky enough to catch them spawning. Some species are simultaneous hermaphrodites, producing eggs and sperms at the same time. Fertilization is external in most species. In most species, the buoyant eggs and sperm are simply released into the water, free spawning. In others, the eggs may be stuck onto the underside of rocks to develop. To increase the chances of fertilization, sea stars may synchronize the spawning, gather in groups, or form pairs. This is called pseudocopulation, when the males climb onto the females with their arms placed between those of the female and release the sperm around them. Sea stars may use environmental signals to coordinate the timing of spawning. They may use the day length to indicate the correct time of year or dawn or dusk to indicate the correct time of day. In some species, mature females produce chemicals that attract sperm in the seawater. But always with the miracle of life, there is those who can take it away. Triton trumpet, Herlequin shrimp, and reef crab are some of the predators that starfish have to face. Fortunately for them, starfish have the amazing ability to regenerate. As long as they can move around and eat, with their central disc still intact, they can regenerate their arms. Starfish are one of the most unique creatures of the sea. From the predator instinct, 
to their amazing ability to regenerate. But starfish are just one of the many species that live in this vast world we call the ocean. There's many more mysteries that await us, that call upon us to come explore the deep blue.